Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex and today I'm going to be showing you how I DIY'd my very own jute rug. So I am planning to move soon and there are a lot of things that I really want at my new place. One of them being this beautiful jute rug. Uh, but the problem with this rug is that everywhere that I see it online, it costs more than a hundred dollars and I cannot bring myself to pay that for a rug that I want to put outside on my patio. And so I decided that I really wanted to make my own rug because it's just made out of jute rope. So I thought to myself, how hard could it really be? Well, today I'm going to be showing you my process of how I made my rug. At the end, I'm going to give tips about what I think could make this project a lot easier because um, <laughs> there were a lot of times where I felt like it could have been easier and I made it harder for myself. So I'm going to be showing you all of my tips and tricks of how to make your own jute rug. What you're going to need for this DIY is natural jute rope, a glue gun, a couple packs of glue sticks, parchment paper, and scissors. So I bought my natural jute rope for $22 from Hobby Lobby. I got 900 feet for $22, so that makes it two cents per foot. I only used around 700 feet, so that means that I used in total $14 of jute rope. Um, and that was really important to me because I didn't want to spend over $25 for my project. To begin this project, you're going to want to tie the jute rope around itself until it begins to coil. I'm then putting glue on the parchment paper and then I'm going to stick the jute rope on top of it so that we can start forming the bottom of the rug. Once that has dried, you can start gluing more of the rope around that initial coil and then <laughs> that's it. You literally just repeat the same thing over and over until you are satisfied with the size rug that you want. I made my rug to be around four feet. Okay, hi. So I'm currently making my rug and um, I keep getting burned. So here's a tip that I have. Tape or bandage your thumb and your pointer finger that you're using to hold the rope together while you glue it. Um, so that way you don't get burned. <laughs> Okay, so here is my current rug. It is about two and a half feet right now. And once it gets bigger, it gets a lot easier to start gluing everything. And um, something that I've been doing is just kind of like pulling the rope really tight and holding it down like this and then putting glue on the top of it and making sure to not put the point of the gun inside of them because then what happens is the glue goes to the front of the rug and this part is the back of the rug, so I don't really care if there's glue uh, visible on the back because, you know, it's the back. And the front part, if you're careful, you're not going to see the glue on the front. So I am currently at the parking lot of Michael's and I'm here because I am not loving how my rug is coming out and I think I want to add a, like a different color to it so I want to get like a white or a cream uh, rope to put on the outside of the very rim of it um, so that it'll be like natural brown and then white cream on the outside. So I'm also here because I want to get a different kind of glue because the hot glue is like not it. So I have a bruise on my finger I don't know if you can tell but it is like it it hurts it's been hurting so I want to use a different kind of glue that's not hot glue that I think will also be really strong um, and can hold all of it together so let's go see what we can find <laughs> So this is why I like Hobby Lobby more. I'm only at Michael's because it's closer to my house. Um, but look at, like, it's $17. It is much more thick, but I think the one that I have is this one. And it would be $12 for, like, 
100 feet and I paid $20 for 900 feet. So we'll see. Okay, I think I found it. I think I'm gonna go with this one. This one is $8 and it's cotton rope. It's not jute, but it has that same look to it. So I think this will, I think this will go nicely. Okay, so I'm back and I know that when I was in there, I was kind of like crapping on Michael's a bit, but to be fair, they do have some really good coupons. So remember I got this white cotton um, cord. Uh, this was, I think $8. Um, and with my coupon that was 30% off my whole purchase, uh, this ended up being five sixty. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good for as much cord as I got. This is 23.6 yards. So I don't know, like, like 70 feet or something. This is enough for what I'm trying to use it for. It's just, you know, for the outside. So this is perfect and it's only 560. So that's pretty good. Um, I also picked up some more hot glue. I needed more of it. And with the coupon, a hundred of them only was like, I don't know, like $7 or something. Okay. And as for the glue that I'm planning to use, I'm planning to use the E600 glue, you know, that like gray tube. Um, I think that should work pretty well. Um, it didn't work. It didn't work. I regret it. Just use hot glue. Let's go see if this works. I didn't like it. It stayed really tacky and it took forever to dry. So in the end, I just went back in with hot glue and I do think that hot glue is the best method. Just be careful to not get burnt because that was why I wanted to change the glue was just because I just I just kept getting burnt, but whatever. In the end, I learned to move my fingers and then I was fine. So all of the clips that you're going to see from now on are just me using hot glue. <laughs> To wrap up this project, I turned it on its front and I went in with a razor blade and I just removed any excess glue that I didn't want to be on the front side. Those against the backdrop, getting emails from CNN and shit wild. Spent the last half of spring in some exile. Love to the ones who checked on me. Those who my back every night through the storm till it got sunny. Okay, and that's it. Um, I really love how my how my rug came out. I like how it looks currently on my set. Um, and I think I'm going to really like it when I put it outside on my new patio for when I move. Like I said, there are some things that I would recommend. One of them being don't use such a small rope as I did. Let me show you. So I'm back. Okay. So don't use such a small rope like I did. Like, as you can see here, it's really, really thin. Um, but the white rope that I used is a little bit thicker. So I think I would have saved a lot of time had I used a jute rope that was a little bit more thick. I do like the look of thinner jute ropes. I'm going to put in a picture here. I prefer the look of a thinner jute rope as compared to like really thick jute rugs. I don't really like how those look, but I do feel like I could have gotten away with a thicker rope like this one. It would have saved me a lot of time. Like I mentioned earlier, this would take me around like seven hours to do. And I think that it could have shaved off maybe an hour or something had I gone with a thicker rope. The next tip that I have is roll your jute rug as tight as you can and then put glue on the bottom of your parchment paper and then stick your rolled up jute rope on top of it and now once that's dried turn it over and that's now going to be your bottom so i think that if i would have done this at first it would have saved me a lot of glue gun burns um, I didn't think about this until after I was done, but I do think that this would be a lot easier and it, you won't get burned as much because the first part of the rug is really where I got burned the most. So I definitely think that this tip is going to be helpful for not burning yourself. The next tip that I have is I'm going to be spraying my rug with 
like an outdoor spray. I forgot what it's called. I'm going to put it here, <laughs> but I'm going to spray my rug with this. And what it's going to do, because I am planning to keep this rug outside when I move, um, it's just going to help, you know, protect it from any water or the sun. Um, and then it can help my rug last longer. I really hope that you like this video and if you want, please subscribe. I'm planning to post more vlogs, DIYs, a day in my life types of videos. So if you like that, please subscribe. Bye.